Yo, 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 what's up, my YouTubers? Um, right, Logic ES2, the really old legacy patches from back in the really old days of Logic 5. Um, nobody talks about the ES2 much anymore with all the new instruments that have been added to Logic in recent years, but it's always been a great synth. But back in the old days of Logic 5 and Logic 6, when it was for Windows and Mac, before Apple bought it, there used to be these fantastic presets written by three German guys that were in the factory library. They're not included anymore, so I've put them on our server. There's a link in the description below. It's a simple zip. Unzip it, and in it, there'll be three folders, and I'll just quickly show you the easiest way to install them now, right? So go to Logic and open an instance of ES2 and you're on the default preset, right? So you, if you want, you can change some of the settings. It doesn't make any difference. Then go to the menu here and do save a copy as. Right, now, give it a really easy to remember name that there will not be any other file on your computer with that name. I'm gonna call this preset that I'm saving, I'm gonna call it Wibble. Like a little, little Wibble, Wibble, right? Wibble, save. Okay, that's it, done. Shut down logic. Okay, now I'll go to my hard drive finder thing and I'll search for Wibble. This is a lot easier than trawling around trying to find where your presets are, especially if you've relocated library and things, but although that doesn't relocate your user patches, but it's just easy to do it this way. Search for Wibble. There it is, Wibble. Right click, showing in closing folder, and that's the folder with that preset that I just saved, right? And if you wanna know, there's the ES2 folder at the top, right click, it's in my account, music, audio music apps, plugin settings, ES2. Right, so there's the folder with Wibble in, keep it open, like that. All right, and then you go and get the presets from the server. Here they are, that's the, pa that's the zip you're gonna get from my server, Logic ES2 Legacy Patches Zip. Unzip it inside the three folders. Just drag them into the same folder as Wibble. Bam! It's really quick because they're just kilobytes in size. Done. Open Logic. And I'm going to just load up one of these songs um, that I've imported across from my old Windows machine running Logic 5. Um, I rebuilt it and I'm getting all the old material off it. And uh, you can load the old Logic 5 songs into Logic 10.6.1, um, the latest version. That's what I'm running here. There's just a certain amount of tidying up to do afterwards. Um, I'm going to come back and do another video on that later today. But anyway, um, the reason I wanted those legacy presets for the ES2 is because this song has an ES2 running, but none of the legacy patches are included in Logic 10.6.1. Here's the ES2, open it up, go to the menu, and there's the three folders, each one with a different German guy's name, because that's what the folders are called. Peter Krischka, bunch of presets in different folders. H.J. Scheffler, presets. And Hubert Hubertus Maas, bunch of presets. Trust me, these are really, really good presets. Uh, these were three sound designers that worked for eMagic back in the day. So the reason I wanted to get these old legacy presets across is because this song used one of them and it was using Hubertus Mass, strings, Philly strings, boom. And there it is, that's the preset. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Get your juicy free ES2 presets. They're really good, actually. Um, and in those three folders, there's hundreds of presets in different genres, you know, bass, leads, whatever. Okay, I uh, hope that's useful to you. Again, the link is in the description. You don't have to sign up with our site or anything. I've made it so with this particular download, you don't need to register with the site. You just download and boom, 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 off you go. Alrighty, righty. Um, there you go. Go and get them. 
And uh, as I said, I'll be back later to do a video on showing you about importing these old Logic 5 songs. Okay, see you guys. Hope that's useful.